स्टार्ट हो गया गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे ऑन द इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा इट्स माय sorry i needed to speak that on the mic so good afternoon today on the international day of yoga i extend a warm welcome to chairman intact general gupta member secretary dr misra apurva jalan who's our resource person today friends and colleagues present in the hall and our viewers who may have joined us online Today's session will focus on tools for healing the unprocessed stress that has accumulated in all of us caused by the pandemic. And for the session it is my pleasure to welcome Apurva Jalan again in person this time. Apurva you had done a wonderful session for us online uh, last year and uh, to reintroduce uh, to reintroduce Apurva Hi uh, she is a yoga therapist leadership and life coach and is the founder of in breath where she trains in the tradition of krishna macharya and she teaches yoga with the intention of helping people experience personal transformation and growth through simple practices and uh, apurva gave up her career as a marketing executive in new york to move back to india in 2005 and since then she has been pursuing her passion for yoga so apurva warm welcome and the stage is all yours now Thank you Manisha ji and uh, namaste everyone um thank you for being here today on international yoga day i first want to acknowledge um uh, that is very special for me to be here with intac in the second year um i really value the work that happens here the preservation uh, of nat of uh, national heritage and cultural her cultural heritage um for me yoga is part of that yoga is our heritage from india it's a very deep indic wisdom philosophy and practice and i really believe th that indic wisdom has a lot to offer humanity and uh, to help us grow and create a better world so i'm very happy to be here in this space um offering some simple tools and practices from the yoga tradition that i'm from shri krishna macharya's tradition where i've been lucky to meet teachers who have committed their life to understand the authentic authenticity of yoga which is much needed in today's world given how yoga is being explored in so many creative and modern ways so what does really authentic practice of yoga mean um so today's session what we're going to do is we're going to explore a few simple things to just help us release some of the stress that may have built up in our systems in the pandemic many of us may not even realize that the stress has built up you know but if you just look back just the idea of being locked down you know the fear the uncertainty not being able to live a normal life we've experienced loss grief so much has happened and the residue of it while we have all coped really well i think the residue of it has stayed in us in some way or the other i'm sure you'll resonate if i say maybe your body feels a little stiffer yeah you feel a little lower energy as you go about your life maybe your mind is feeling unnecessarily anxious you don't understand oh why am i so anxious these days or your mind is feeling dull just to do the things you used to you're needing to do a lot of extra work nowadays to push yourself yeah and it's still uncertain there's a whole lot of covid cases coming up especially in delhi now so it's again uncertain or what's the next phase we're going through So how do we cope? Yoga as a practice can really help us, help us heal and find newer energies, find newer spaces in us to find the way forward, to take our lives forward in a renewed and enthusiastic manner. So that's really what we're going to work with today in very simple practices. Uh I want you to let go of any ideas you already have of yoga. 
complicated asanas, leg behind the head, very difficult breathing, intense, you know, uh, practices, none of that. The fundamental practice today is going to be using your breath in a very gentle manner. So the theme would be to create space within ourselves because we use a word called dukkha in yoga. We all know, I mean, we're all uh, in, in our Indian languages, the word Dukkha is common. The way we understand it in yoga is Dukkha means a sense of constriction. So whenever something is not comfortable, when there's stress accumulated, fear, there's a sense of constriction. How do we know? Joints become tight, body becomes heavy, you don't feel free, you don't want to get out of bed, breath becomes short. So there's constriction in the body, there's constriction in the breath. There is also constriction in the mind, our ability to think, make decisions, goes down, we become reactive yeah? and this practice is to help expand the space at all three levels, body, breath and mind. They are not separate from each other, they are all beautifully connected and today we are going to look at how do we create more space within us at all levels, body, breath and mind. So my invitation to you would be to participate. So do the practice with us. When uh, we were discussing the session today, we said last year we talked about it. This year let's do something about it. Because yoga is what we call an anushasanam. The word anushasanam means it's a philosophy which is practiced. So without doing the practice, we are not going to get the experience. So let's all participate. So my suggestion would be take your shoes off, uh, put them aside. If you've got your phones here, please put them on silent, preferably not even on vibrate. Yeah. And we have some more chairs. If you want to spread out a little bit, please spread out um, so that you have space, which is really the theme of this session. Okay. And we'll start in a moment. Okay, so let's start with sitting on your chairs, placing your feet on the ground and really sitting on your chair. What do I mean by that? Not leaning back, not leaning back yes. And you please feel free to interact, okay. Let's not make this a one way because that's very boring. So feel free to interact. So what does sitting in your chair really mean? Anybody, any other? She said it means not leaning back. True, keeping the spine straight unless you have back pain. What else could it really mean? Any other ideas? How often have you actually sat in the chair but your body is almost running to the next thing you are doing? Right? So it's almost like your body is in two places. So sitting in your chair means just sit. Sit, put your hips down, put your feet down, put your hands on your thighs and just sit. Occupy your body, occupy your, your body is your space. We talked about expanding your space, right? So the space that we're talking about is in your body. So occupy your space, just sit. If you're comfortable, close your eyes and take a minute to just scan your body from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. Any parts of your body that are feeling strained, that are feeling uncomfortable, just watch that. You don't have to change anything. Get to know your body in this moment. Our body is different every day. It could be different every hour also. So right now, how is my body feeling? Once you scanned your body, move your attention to observing your breath. Now you will observe your breath somewhere in your torso. You will feel your breath moving. It could be in the chest, it could be in the abdomen. Wherever you feel you can experience your breath moving, just pay attention to that area and just watch your breath. Again, you do not have to do anything to it. You just get to know it in this moment. What's your breath like? Is it short or long, fast?
fast or slow. There is no one correct answer. You just observe what your breath is like. When was the last time you actually paid attention to your breath? It is something that stays with us from the moment we are born. But we usually forget about it, taking it for granted. Now, let us shift our attention to the mind, whatever that might mean to you. For me, it usually means observing my thoughts. I am not talking of your brain, I am talking of your mind, your thoughts, your feelings. The mind has its own rhythm as well. If your mind was like a pendulum, what kind of pendulum do you think your mind is right now? Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it racing? Is it not moving because it's feeling very dull? What's your mind like today? And having observed your body, breath and mind, you get to know where you are right now. Slowly open your eyes. So that was just the opening observation. You always start with trying to see what, how am I feeling right now. Okay, now we start the work. So we are going to work with lengthening the breath and opening the body very slowly. So everybody sit a little bit forward on your chair without backrest. If you have back pain then you can sit with backrest, no problem. Place your hands on your knees and I will show you a movement and a sound and then we will do it together. Okay? We are going to inhale, just open the arms and do it in whatever way is comfortable for you. You don't have to push, you don't have to stretch. It's just a simple movement. And then we're going to use a humming sound. Hum. And bring your hands and your attention to your lower abdomen, which is below your navel. Now, why lower abdomen? Lower abdomen is a part of the body which helps us remove, helps us eliminate all your organs of elimination are in the lower abdomen. So as we do the humming, we hold this idea that we are clearing, we are cleansing all that residue. We are just through the sound letting it go. Okay, so do not think about it too much. Just start the hum and as you are humming, your breath will also release, let it happen. Just relax as you do it. Yeah, do not think about where it is starting, just start the hum. So let us do it together. Ready? Inhale, breathe, take your arms in, sorry, take your arms out. Beautiful. Hum. Place your hands on your lower abdomen and just relax here. Let the breath move. Watch your lower abdomen. After we have done this, give the body a few seconds to actually do the release. Again, breathe in, open your arms. So when you open your arms, you also open your spine a little bit. You see your spine houses your nervous system. So open your spine a bit. Hum. And now a little bit of silence after the humming. Just watching. So where is your mind? Can your mind also be here? Just watching this movement in the stomach. Yeah, giving space to your breath and your body to do its cleansing. And two more times. Inhale, you can keep your eyes open or closed, whatever is comfortable for you. Hum. And relax. Stay here in silence. Last one, breathe in. As you breathe in, open your arms. So you're opening your upper back, your chest, your spine. You're freeing yourself a bit. Hum. And a little bit of silence after that. Just watching, giving space to your body and your breath to do its work. And relax. Now the next step, we have done some cleansing, now we invite fresh energy. So we do the same thing, inhale 
and this time when you are doing the humming you will take it to your chest, your heart center. This is the space where we invite new energies, where we invite fresh energy. This is the chest, the space where we, our lungs are, our heart is. So we bring in that sense of healing and nurturance when we come back here. So the bhavana, the feeling with which we do the yoga practice is very important. It's not just exercise. There's a difference no, between yoga and gymnastics or yoga and any other exercise. So that bhavana, that connection to the breath, that is very important. So bring your attention to that. Let's do it together. So inhale, open your arms to the chest this time. Hum. And once again, just be a little silent. You're bringing in fresh energy. You're helping yourself heal. And again, inhale. So, three more times. Let's do it together. Hum. And let yourself relax here. As you settle, this is also called the heart center. The space of our emotions. Again, breathe in. Open your spine as you do it. Hum. Just relax. And last one, breathe in, open your spine, hum. Just staying here, watching the space quietly and slowly relax. Now we'll do one more set. Those who are wearing your glasses, you can take them off. Okay. The next round, we're going to bring the hands over your eyes and your ears. You can use the thumb to just gently close your ears. Okay. This is to take a break from the world around us. All day we're in our phones, listening to things outside. Just closing the doors into yourself for a few moments. Let's try it. So inhale. Hum. To stay here in silence for a few moments. Next one. Inhale. Hum. Do the humming only as much as you are comfortable. Don't push. Yeah, be very gentle with your breath. Next one, inhale. Let your inhale, your exhale slow down a bit. Be gentle with it. If you are gentle, it will slow down on its own. Hum. Last one, breathe in. Hum. Now this time, keep your eyes closed. You can just sit back on your chair and just quietly sit and rest. Rest your spine on the chair. Rest your back on the chair, rest your feet on the ground, your hands on your thighs. For a few moments, just drop all that you carry on your shoulders and on your mind. And for a few moments, just rest.
Notice if there's any change in the way your body, your breath or your mind are feeling. And slowly come back. All right, so come back up, move, or move to the front of your chair. Now, all our movements are centered around the spine and the breath. Like I said, the spine is where the nervous system is. So keeping the spine healthy, keeping the spine flexible, open, it's very important. And that's what starts to get very tight, especially with our lifestyles, no? where we're all on the computer all day. So that's why I'm asking you to come forward again and again. And in our lifestyles nowadays, we are very used to too much luxury. Okay, We want these recliners and sofas. And so our spines are becoming weaker as we get old. So it's important to keep your spine healthy. Okay, Now, we're going to actually do some movements which will help us open up our joints. Okay, so everybody place both your hands on your left knee, your right hand is on top. Okay, so very simple movement is almost like a dance movement. Okay, so you're going to inhale, take the right hand a little bit to the back, whatever's comfortable for you and exhale, you'll follow it right back. So you see it's moving the entire neck back, the entire joint in your upper body. So let's try it together. Start with the right hand. Inhale, go back, keep looking at your fingertips and exhale, soft exhale, soft exhale. Just let your exhale release slowly and come back and rest, sit again. Again, inhale to that side, exhale, come back and when you come back, rest your hand here, inhale. Slow inhale, exhale. The breath does not work well if you force it. We have to learn to be very gentle. We have to learn to invite the breath, not push the breath. One more time. Inhale, go back, look, open up your upper back, your chest. Exhale. So, you are opening all that tightness that happens in this part of the body. Other side. Change sides, left hand on top this time. So focus on expanding, okay? As you're breathing out, expand. As you're coming back, relax, okay? So inhale, take it back and reach out. Reach your hands out. Even your elbows will stretch. And exhale, come back. And rest. When you rest, relax your spine. Sit down. Again, inhale three times. And exhale. If anybody has pain in your shoulders, do only as much as your body allows. Listen to your body. Trust your body. Inhale. And exhale. Very gently, with a lot of love and care for yourself. Every movement with a lot of love and care. Last one. Inhale. This body works for us day and night. Let's give it some love and care. Exhale. Very nice. Now change sides again. Now we'll add a movement. Okay. So you know the arm movement now, right? Now we'll add a leg movement with it. So what are you going to do? The, the leg that is where your hands are resting. Inhale. You're going to stretch that leg out. So you're also stretching the entire hip, knee, ankle. Exhale. You're going to drag it back. Okay. Do as much as you're comfortable. Let's try it. So right hand goes out, left leg stretches out. Let's try it. Inhale. Left leg opens, right hand goes out and exhale, beautiful, drag it back, drag the heel back and relax. Again, two more times, inhale, stretch, push that heel out, you will feel a stretch in your knee, the right leg should be relaxed, exhale, very nice, come back. Can you enjoy the movement, inhale. Doesn't matter if you get the wrong leg also, who cares? As long as you're working with one part of your body. Exhale, it doesn't matter. And change sides. So this time, whatever leg you used, the other leg. Okay? So inhale. Just enjoy opening your body. Exhale. Come back, center and relax. Two more times. Breathe in. Gentle, gentle. Let your breath expand your body and let your breath relax your body. Drag the leg back. 
one last time breathe in stretch and breathe out and just bring both your hands on your knees sit comfortably just become aware of your body see how you're feeling is there any change that you experienced from the time you started and slowly open your eyes let's come and stand too much sitting hai na we're sitting all day so just come and stand find some space for yourself so you have some space to move some people can move to the sides and they, you can come forward as well yeah so you just need a little bit of space for your arms okay so ready now we're going to continue in the same theme just expanding and releasing expanding and releasing that's the whole idea it's like giving yourself a massage right so let's try this inhale keep your elbows bent keep your elbows bent chin is down take your arms up they don't have to touch you can just go up you're lifting your spine and exhale very nice i can list i can hear all your breath very nice you're being very gentle with your breath that's good inhale gently lifting so you're moving in sync with your breath and exhale now the next two rounds that we do bring your attention to this part okay we hold a lot of heaviness here when we have sadness grief it connects it can collect anywhere in the body but often this is the part that becomes heavy so bring your attention there with the intention of releasing releasing whatever you don't need to carry with you anymore so inhale so you're opening you're accessing you're letting the breath go in and as you exhale you're letting the breath release whatever it is you don't need to carry you don't need to think about what it is you just tell the breath to do its work inhale and release exhale very simple just see how beautifully your spine lifts and comes back to the center last one now this time press your feet into the ground as you go up yeah so press your feet inhale you'll notice your legs also stretch but it's so gentle and exhale sinking up with the breath beautiful come back center very nice now interlock your fingers turn your hands out keep pressing your feet into the ground so your feet must be firmly planted now we'll do just follow it follow along with me inhale just come up halfway yeah pause here so you're feeling in expanded you've expanded your body with your breath and exhale here as you exhale slowly exhale completely focusing on the stomach remember i said the stomach is the part that lets go eliminates now inhale lift up whatever is comfortable for you if keeping it locked is not comfortable if you have shoulder pain you can also open your eyes uh, open your arms and exhale here hold the pose exhale slowly focusing on the lower abdomen next inhale bring your hands behind your head breathe in and as you exhale open your arms come back center take a moment just rest when we exhale i want you to focus on this area remember we said all the organs of elimination are here so when you exhale just mind bring your mind here and slowly let the exhale release itself okay one more time interlock your fingers these are all simple things you can do anywhere inhale press your feet into the ground and exhale here exhaling with the attention to the lower abdomen inhale up lifting your spine against gravity and exhaling slowly and inhale bringing the hand behind your chest and exhale opening and slowly coming back take a moment watch your breath make sure your breath is settled we never do anything if the breath is feeling short the breath is the central thing so start again last one inhale press your feet into the ground exhale slowly inhale up exhale slowly 
inhale back so you're stretching opening your body with your breath and exhale relax so just take a moment stand here close your eyes we keep closing our eyes it's also one way to just let the mind settle one of the texts says when the eyes move the mind moves so if you close your eyes for a few moments it gives a chance for the mind also to slow down that pendulum to slow down and eventually your yoga practice has to help your mind apart from your body just stand here observe your body from your feet go all the way up to the top of your head and slowly open your eyes now we do some more cleansing we said we want to release and heal from the effect of the pandemic twists are very cleansing so we all have seen no like uh, a cloth that's in water we soak it in water and then you wring it all the water comes out so twists are fundamentally cleansing so let's twist our body very gently to cleanse so make your feet a little apart so you're making more space yeah and what you're going to do is do it with me as you inhale from the front open your chest so you're opening your arms let your fingers reach outward so you're just expanding your entire space so you're opening the body and then to the left side start twisting from your hips twist from your lower abdomen just twist gently look back and give yourself a nice hug one hand goes onto your shoulder the other hand goes behind your back and just look back and stay here just stay here watch your breath your breath will move in and out a little fast in your stomach area just watch it so you're giving your breath a chance to do the cleansing yeah so stay with it for a moment and now untwist so inhale open your arms come back and untwist and now to the right side whichever is your other side exhale twist wrap your arms around you make sure you don't push your body beyond your comfort zone and just stay here and watch your breath give your breath a chance to do the cleansing while you're twisted and untwist inhale open and come back center let's take a break let's take a break very nice so one more time okay now when you're twisting don't cause any pain because in the process of healing we don't want to cause more injuries right so just take it easy do whatever is comfortable for you today inhale open so you're gently expanding remember i said this is the space our space where we also hold a lot of pain and grief so just open and exhale twist to whichever side you want to twist wrap your arms around you it's also like giving yourself a little loving touch gentleness some care and compassion and stay here let the breath do its work and untwist keep your chin down a little bit so the neck is relaxed open at the elbows your fingertips also reaching out and whichever is your other side twist you can keep your eyes closed if you have balance let the breath do its work and untwist open very gently this time let's not come back center let's twist one more time exhale twist and this time if you're comfortable do a little bit of slow breathing so inhale slowly and exhale slowly whatever is comfortable for you just a few more breaths just letting your breath go a little deeper into your body and untwist as you inhale and exhale to the other side last one this time again if you're comfortable do some slow breathing
and untwist, inhale, come back center and exhale, come back, bring your feet back. You can come back absolutely together or whichever is comfortable for you. Close your eyes. Just stay with your body. Observing your body. Observe your breath. And observe your mind. How's your mind feeling? Is it feeling any different? And slowly open your eyes. Let's come back and sit. So sit again at the edge of your chair. Sorry, before you get too comfortable. <laughs> you see what a what the real pandemic is this. All of us not taking care of our spines, right? It's nothing else. So keep your legs apart if you can. However, depending on the space you have, I know we're all pretty close to each other. Bring both your hands to your left leg. Okay, now the next one, we're going to do some forward bend, but I really want you to choose how much you're going to do. Some of you may have back pain, so don't hurt yourself. Only do as much as you're comfortable and what your doctor has allowed you to do. Okay, so here what we're going to do, you just, just watch me once, you're going to breathe in. And you're going to go down in three stages. First, exhale, we'll just go down 30%. Then we'll breathe in again here. Just stretching gently with the breath, the spine will stretch. Then you'll go down, as you exhale, another 30%, so 60. Then you'll breathe in again. And only if you're absolutely fine in your body, can you go all the way down, take your hand to the floor, and bring your head down. And then we'll slowly come back and relax. Okay, let's try it. So both hands on the left knee, and my eyes are towards the left knee, so breathe in, start breathing out and then going down just 30%, your hands are resting on your leg, breathe in here and another 30%, the, keep the other leg steady, okay, breathe in here. And if you are totally comfortable, go all the way down, otherwise just stay where you are. You can place your hands on the floor and relax your head. And now as you breathe in, just come back up and relax. You can even breathe out through your mouth if you want. Because that coming up, sorry. There's a stretch in the hamstring as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. Other side. So breathe in. 30%. Breathe in again, another 30 percent, breathe in last, all the way down only if you are comfortable and slowly inhale come up, <sighs> breathe out, you can even breathe out through your mouth. One more round, yes, yeah? Okay, not like, I don't think I'm giving you much of a choice, but anyway, <laughs> left leg, breathe in, 30%, and let your breath, take your time to breathe out, just because you're going 30%, don't shorten your breath, breath is the key here, breathe in, the longer the breath, the deeper the cleansing, the deeper the healing, exhale, breathe in, breathe with your attention on your spine, and breathe out, go all the way down, just stay here for 5 seconds, let your body go and come back up, other side, last one I promise, breathe in, 30%. Again, 60%, last one, all the way down, stay here for 5 seconds and come back up 
and relax. Just sit back. Sit back, get comfortable, just sit and rest. Just rest. Close your eyes. Just rest. Rest, just be here with your body, your breath. Your mind will be very tempted to run away somewhere. That's also okay. That's what the mind does. See if you can bring it back. All right. Last thing we'll do, we close the practice with a little bit of just breathing, no body movements. So there are two parts. I'm sure you've all heard of Ashtanga Yoga. Many of you would have heard of it. So Ashtanga Yoga defines the eight limbs of yoga. So today we are working with two of them. One is Asana, which is all the physical movements. And then we are now going to do a little Pranayama. I'm sure everyone's heard of Pranayama. It's become very famous, especially on television. But we are going to do a very simple pranayama practice. Pranayama essentially means expanding your breath. As the breath becomes longer, that pendulum of the mind starts to slow down. That's the reason to do pranayama, to slow the mind down. To just if, And if you think of a pond or a lake or an ocean where the waves are really um, active, to just soothe to smoothen it down so the mind becomes a little clearer. Right, so we're just going to do a very simple practice, but for that, yes, you will have to sit without back support. So come back up. Ideally, if you have back pain and you're not able to sit straight, please sit with back support. So you remember the three spaces we worked with in the beginning, the lower abdomen, the chest and the eyes, right? We're going to leave the eyes for now. We'll work with the chest and the lower abdomen. So as you breathe, yeah, watch the breath slowly expand downward. So it will even go to your abdomen. As you exhale, start from here. Start relaxing from here. The exhale happens and then relax the chest. Now you can also place one hand on your chest, one hand on your abdomen. That helps. Yeah. So you're just going to stay with this rhythm. So close your eyes. Chin can be slightly lower. Relax. Watch your breath. Make sure it's steady. As you start breathing in, Breathe in, focus on the hand on your chest, let it go to your abdomen where your other hand is, pause and start breathing out, start with the lower abdomen and relax even in the chest area, pause, continue, breathe in and do it at your own pace, if your breath is short, move faster, if your breath is slow and long, Move slower, inhale and exhale at your own pace for the next 8 to 10 breaths. But remember to pause, pause after your inhale and pause after your exhale. So you're doing both, you're taking in fresh energy and expanding, you're also letting go of all that is old and doesn't need to stay in your system anymore. Let your breath be really soft and gentle, taking care of your breath, not pushing your breath. Just another few breaths.
and keep doing what you're doing but just bring your hands down let your hands rest on your knees or your thighs and just keep breathing in and out slowly at your own pace and let your mind follow your breath as it comes in and as it leaves and every time you pause let the mind also stop for a moment let that pendulum stop for a moment and slowly as you do this I want you to imagine that you are slowly stepping back as if you're standing behind your breath and now the breath is moving on its own. Now the breath is moving on its own. You are not breathing consciously. The breath has its own rhythm. You are just watching your breath. Your breath can be any length it wants. It's slowly coming back to its own natural rhythm. And connect with your breath as your fundamental source of life force energy. Connect to this energy. Invite it. It's called prana. Invite prana to renew you. To renew all your cells. To renew your mind. To help you move forward with a clearer space and with a greater energy. Invite this prana to light the lamp which is usually in your heart space, the light of your inner wisdom. This, the texts say there is a beautiful lamp sitting there to light that lamp so that you can live with wisdom, act with wisdom. If you're able to connect to this lamp, stay with that for some time. Stay with the light, which is your own light, your inner light. Let us bring our hands together in prayer in front of our hearts. Let us chant three ohms together. One for ourselves, one for those around us, and one for the well-being of the world at large. The idea is that may the fruits of my practice reach far and wide into the world. So breathe in. Om. Stay in the silence for a few moments. The next home for all of those around us, our colleagues, our families, our communities, offering them well-being and the fruits of your practice. So breathe in.
stay with the silence. Now for the world, wherever this energy has to reach, this healing energy, may it reach, may the world heal, may we all move forward in a harmonious and wholesome manner. So breathe in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Slowly rub your palms so they're nice and warm. Create some heat, some energy. Bring out all that prana you've just generated in your system. Place the center of your palms over your eyes. Let your eyes soak in the warmth. Keep breathing. And spread that warmth to your face and to wherever else and close your practice. Thank you. So we'll open up the space if you have any questions. Um, you can raise your hand, somebody will bring your mic. So we have some time for some questions. You can also just share how you're feeling, that's also fine. When is a good time to do this? Uh, whenever you have time. Well, any time except right after eating. Uh, we usually want to give two, two and a half hours um, after your meals because you can't breathe and your stomach has to be empty. But I would say ideally uh, you have to find a time where you're not very distracted. Let's say you're a young mom who has kids who need to go to school but you're trying to do yoga while you have to make breakfast for them. That's really not a good time. So find a time that works for you where you have, you know, 10 to 20 minutes. The shortest practice can be 5 to 10 minutes. The longest practice can be about an hour. Today we worked together for about 40 minutes slowly. So yeah, any time. Sometimes uh, some of the breathing, the humming at night before you go to sleep can really help you sleep well if some of you have sleep issues. So yeah. Could you demonstrate which humming was it what we did uh, right in the beginning yeah. is what you should do yeah. in a sitting position? You can do it in sitting or lying down. So you can lie down on your bed and place the hands in the different positions and do the humming. That's also okay. At night that's better because when you lie down it helps your body relax in the bed and you might even fall asleep while doing it. That's also possible. In the day it's better to sit up. Because lying down makes you a little sleepy, sitting up keeps you a little more energized, so it prepares you for the day. Your yoga practice, uh, whatever you do should help you to do whatever the next activity is. So if you are supposed to go to work in the morning, it has to help you feel a little more energetic. But if you are supposed to sleep at night, it should help you feel a little quieter and calmer. Uh, I have a very basic question. Uh, after you've been in, in, in this practice for a long time, let's say, any kind of meditation and mm. then there is a healing that has taken place. Yeah. Of course, you can't measure that healing. But for any reason, if you discontinue for a while, does it reverse how much of healing is lost? My experience is that uh, some of it is definitely uh, not lost. Because when healing happens, you move forward. So some things are permanent, it's, it's, you've moved past that. But some things, let's say if you have a tendency for anxiety and if you stop your practice, then that tendency might come up again depending on how deep that pattern is for you. So some things may come back, some things will not come back. 
But what is uh, also true is uh, whenever I've had breaks in my practice, when I've come back, my body remembers, my mind remembers and it, it takes to it very quickly again. So it's not as much effort when I come back to it. Do you have a sequence in doing it? Do you have to do it in a particular sequence so you can do it any uh, There are some elements of design uh, in the sequence. Um, usually if it's a morning practice you start with some seated or standing where the spine is free. Mm -hmm. Then you do some lying down and then you sit for pranayam. At night you can start with lying down. So there is usually a sequence, it's better to work with a teacher who can slowly teach you depending on your need. Yeah. So will you give us a chart? I am happy to draw this chart that we did today and send yeah. it to you. Yeah. So that uh, there was a, in, uh, in our practice we say every step in the practice should help you prepare for the next step. It's also the philosophy we use for life, you know that whatever you do now has to prepare you for the next step. So that's why what I designed today was based on that. I'll share the chart, okay. no problem. Thank you. So if there are no more questions, then we'll uh, wrap this session. Uh, Purva, thank you so much. It was a pleasure listening to you as always. And uh, the session was, uh, is not only, uh, was not only topical, but also much required. Uh, may I now request our chairman, uh, General Gupta to please give a token of our appreciation to our Purva. Um, let me just take a one minute break to bring the token. Yeah, please. <laughs> Thank you. Holding the breath or you know, just keep doing the breath? Uh, today that? I was not asking you to hold the breath. No, little bit when you said that relax. Yeah. You know, uh, I'll, I mean, bring your mind yeah. you know, onto a certain uh, part. It could be both. You can, okay. depending on your breath, if you are comfortable holding, okay. please do the holding, it's better. Right. But if you are not comfortable holding, just relax, let the breath move on its own and then mm. when you are ready, you take the next breath and you come up. Okay. The whole practice is about protecting your breath mm. and growing your breath. Mm. So we take care of the breath at every step. So anything mm. that's making you breathless or shortness mm. in breath, you have to stop and okay. see if you can do it in another way. Okay. So when you say relax, we can also keep breathing. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes, thank you. Sorry about that hitch. We are now ready. A small token of our appreciation thank for you. Apurva. Thank you for coming. And uh, who's, who's your guru? Uh, I learn in the tradition of uh, Sri Krishna Macharya. Okay. Um, I've learned at an institute called Yoga Vahini and Ritambara, Raghu and Antanarayanan and uh, Saraswati Vasudevan. More in the south. That which, which was the which year you started? Oh, I've been learning since two, with them since 2008. Very well done. <laughs> Thank really you. enjoyed. Thank, Thank you, you so wish much. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. The mic. Yeah. Dr. Mishra, come, please come.